Okay, part three is now in session. Where I last left off, I'll show you was the 2003 DVD of Harry Potter, The Chamber of Secrets, along with the 2003 VHS. So I'm keeping this one. This one I'm giving to Justin Hyman. So it's this copy as well, too, for Harry Potter as well. Here's next one. Part three for part three for tribute to Robbie Coltrane. It's this. It's a 2004 DVD of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. This DVD and VHS came out November November 23rd, 2004. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Peter Rayner, New York Magazine, calls it. This true kids classic, it's just as magical for adults. It's got extra, extra features, never before seen footage, and many others, well, too, also. A Honey Dukes and Professor Lupin's classroom for some guy tours, interviews, and much, much more. Well, hope I get it on VHS as well, too, in the, in the near future. That'll be a triple feature Harry Potter on VHS. That's coming with the ad, which I won't be showing, I'm afraid. For sure of it. Look at all this. How cool is this? The Marauder's Map. Lumos. I am solemnly swear that I am up to no good. And there's Rubius Hagrid. Yeah, rest in paradise once again to Robbie Coltrane. Here's a scene in depth for this film also too. It has 35 chapters. Here's disc one is having Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, and Ronald Weasley. And here's disc two is having Aunt Marge as a as a balloon. Next is Harry Potter and a Goblet of Fire. Here's the front. Spine. The back. R Roger Ebert. Ebert and Roper calls it terrific entertainment fold with Endless invention. When Harry Potter's name emerges from the Goblet of Fire, he becomes a competitor in the grueling battle of glory, battle for glory among the three wizarding schools, the Triwizard Tournament. But since Harry never submitted his name for the tournament, who did? Now Harry must confront a deadly dragon, fierce water demons, and an enhanced maze. Maze only to find himself in the cruel, cruel grasp of he who must not be named in this fourth film adaption of J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. Everything changes as Harry, Ron, and Hermione leave childhood forever and and take on challenges greater than anything they could have imagined. And this film came out in theaters. Oh, by the way, forgot to mention Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. This film came out in theaters in summer nineteen, uh, summer two thousand and four, of June fourth, two thousand and four, right after the season finale of ER season ten and the series finale of Friends season ten on NBC, which also include 
Gilmore Girls Season 4 finale on the WB, as well as Smallville Season 3 finale on the WB as well. And the OC Season 1 finale on Fox as well. Okay, let me show you Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire right now. Another ad that I won't be showing, I'm afraid. Here's a disc to it. Here's this one is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I'm gonna get those on uh in Panascan. I like them better. It's fit through my television. Front spine and the back. A.O. Scott, the New York Times calls it sleek, swift, and exciting. Oh yeah, Lord Voldemort returns in, in this film, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The rebellion begins. Lord Voldemort, the rebel, the rebellion, the rebellion, the rebellion begins. Lord Voldemort has returned, but the Ministry of Magic is doing everything it can keep to to keep the Wizarding world from knowing the truth, including the. Point Ministry of Official Dolores Umbridge as the new Defense Against Dark Arts Professor as the new Defense Against the Dark Arts Professor at Hogwarts. When Umbridge refuses to teach practical defense and magic, Ron and Hermione convince Harry to secretly train a select group of students for the Wizarding War that lies ahead. A terrifying slow, sh a terrifying showdown between good and evil awaits in this enthralling film version of the fifth novel in J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. Prepare for battle. And another advertisement, but I will not be showing in that. Here's a disc to it. Oh, the Goblet of Fire has some little bit of scratches. But it still plays, though. This one plays fine, though. Yeah, I won't be showing that here. Um, next is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Here's the front. It's got a Lieutenant Kakard also too. It had Lieutenant Kakard in the Harry Potter uh and the Prisoner Azkaban and Goblet of Fire uh Ultimate Edition Blu-ray and DVD. The front. Spine. There's spine in the back. Wow, special features exclusive to Blu-ray. And this has the first time it has the Matson movie mode. And it's be the first to see the footage from Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows, which I'll show that in just a minute. It only split two parts of it as well, too, also. And many other special features and many others. It's on three disc and plus a digital copy as this is a combo. So 
a digital copy. Here's disc one. This is a movie. This is on Blu-ray. Same thing, disc two is on special features. And there's DVD, there's the DVD version, disc three. It's on three disc, as you know. Alright. The grand finale. This is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. They have split into two parts. Oh, by the way. Harry Potter and the uh Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix released in theaters on July 13th, 2007. Harry Potter and the uh, Half Blood Prince released in theaters summer 2009. Okay. This film came out, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, released at Thanksgiving 2010, November 19th, 2010. Here's the front, spine, the spine, oh, oops, and the back. How about this? Same thing like Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, and it's the return of Dobby the House Elf from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which returns in the film. Harry, Ron, and Hermione set out. To track down and destroy the secret of Voldemort's power, the Horcruxes on their own, and on the run, the three th three friends must now rely on one another more than ever. But dark forces threaten to tear them apart. There's all features there also, too. This has an ad, but I won't be showing it. Here's disc one, a movie on Blu-ray. Special features on Blu-ray, disc two, and here's the DVD version of disc three. Okay, I'll stop here, and I'll do the fourth and final part of this also, too. But be sure to look out for part two, for, for the final part of the tribute to Robbie Coltrane, where I'll show you Harry Potter and the Deathly Hells part two, in, in, that, in a minute. So part four is the final part of this one. Stay tuned for part four.